What's up, nerds? Phoenix and Phoenix TV here with another episode of Birds Brain, the show that supports walrus reform. We do. We always have. We always will. Episode 45, Optometrix Novelty Eyewear. Oh, Optometrix. I got you. Cool. Let's go. Hi, this is Cookie Masterson, and I once played the role of Kristen Stewart on the cover of Us Weekly. Hmm. One player. All right, this is going to be a party. And yeah, it the is. wrong answer of the game is being sponsored by... Optometrix Novelty Eyewear. Our products rarely cause blindness anymore. Find the wrong answer associated <laughs> with our sponsor to get yourself some sweet prizes and bonus cash. <laughs> okay, it's time. Get ready, time to crash in. One. Let's start with Jody Foster, The People. I hate it when I like a movie and people are always saying, Oh, the book was better. The book was better. Shut up, people. If I wanted to know how good the book was, I would have learned how to read good. That's right. Which of these Jodie Foster movies was not based on a book that was better, or any book at all. The Silence of the Lambs, uh... Patrick, or The Hotel New Hampshire. It's so obvious. Oh. Silence of the Lambs, Contact, and the Hotel New Hampshire were all based on big best-selling books, but Maverick was just based on the old James Garner TV show. I see. And yeah, the TV show was better. But at least it wasn't a book. <laughs> I think you might need some contacts to see the right answer. Which is why you won... I totally got that wrong on purpose. Eye ...contact lenses from Optometrix Novelty nah. Eyewear. Warning, Sweet. if you put them in backwards, you will rip your eyes out. This wrong answer of the game is worth $4,000. Congratulations. Sweet. Let's try... Settlers of Chris Catan. I love Chris Catan. Oh, just got a push notification from my fortune cookie app. It appears that I should eat one fortune right now. Fortune cookie. Sweet. Hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. Follow your nose. Not bad advice, but which ancient sculpture would find this fortune useless? The Venus de Milo, uh, the finger, Michelangelo's David, or the Great Sphinx? Venus doesn't have a head. I know the Sphinx had to fall off. The Sphinx is missing its nose, so it would have nothing to follow. Right. Venus doesn't have any arms. If the really followed its nose, it would probably right. find it in a museum on some super advanced alien planet. The signs are everywhere, people. Aliens are real, and they're going to take all our noses. Sure, Cookie. Whatever you say. And on its way, and you thought Hal was shallow, and stick your nose hmm. firmly in the air hmm. for a dis or dat. I'm gonna read off seven items, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a quote from Gwyneth Paltrow, oh, man. or a quote from Mother Teresa. If it's a Gwyneth Paltrow quote, press the X button. I don't if know anything either Mother one of those Teresa two said. Quote, Press the B button. Cool, let's do it. Ah. Uh. I'd rather smoke crack than eat cheese from a t I would rather die than let my kid eat cup of soup. When you don't have anything, then you... I can't pretend to be somebody who makes 25... I love anything that comes in a hot dog. Words which do not give the light of Christ. When I pass a flowering zucchini plant, my heart skips a beat. Sweet. Holy mother, that was good. Surprisingly, got them all. I know sometimes celebrities can seem a little out of touch, but that's only because we're so much richer, better looking, and well-educated than the rest of you knuckle-dragging Neanderthals. That's all it is. Don't take it so personally. Right. Here's one for you. Ye mad men of old. 
What would you most likely see on Mad Men if it took place during the 1860s? Roger's wedding ruined by Lincoln's assassination, Pete losing an account during the French Revolution, uh, Jim's husband going off to fight in World War One. Abraham Lincoln was assassinated in 1865. The rest hmm. of these events are not even close. I would watch 1860s Mad Men just for the wardrobe. I mean, those wool uniforms, that long underwear, ah, those bonnets. Now, that was a time when people cared about fashion. <laughs> Up next, the squeaky turkey gets the grease. Ever had deep fried turkey? It's kind of like a deep fried Twinkie, except with turkey instead of Twinkie. Right. If you're hungry for a greasy turkey, there's a real place that you can eat one. Be hungry, grease, and turkey border points. Be hungry and turkey uh... border. The hungry and grease border, or the grease and turkey border. Whoa. Whoa. No. Where's that confounded right answer? Only Greece and Turkey have a mm. shared border, so you could eat your greasy turkey on the edge of Greece and Turkey. And I find the best way to travel to Turkey is by gravy boat. Naturally. That's the end of round one. And you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Keep in mind, all the prizes wow. are doubled in round two. Let's see what's in store. He's called me ugly. I mean, he's not wrong, but... That's harsh. Try this on for size. The cow drove and the swine flew. <laughs> yeah, it's bring your pet to work day, and one of the interns brought in an adorable pot-bellied pig. Say hello, Sir Oinkington. He just loves the little sailor outfit I bought for him. And get this, it's so adorable. He loves it when I play this little piggy and count his toes. Too cute. <laughs> when I count the piggies on Sir Oinkington's pig feet, how far into this little piggy do I get? This little piggy went to market, this little piggy stayed home, this little piggy had roast beef, or this little piggy had none. Uh... This one. Oh, you couldn't at least guess that pigs have more than one toe? This would have worked. Pigs are even-toed ungulates like deer and cattle who have four toes on their feet. Two functional, two non-functional. So with what? four toes, you would make it to the fourth verse, this little piggy had none. Hmm. I just hope my cat's poopsie and mayonnaise don't get jealous of all the attention this little pig is getting. <coughs> I did not know that pigs had four toes. Let's try bros before O's. That's the point. That what? Great. Get this one right for an extra one triple O dollars. Arrange these things in order from when they were born, from oldest to most recent. Oreos, SpaghettiOs, Jackie Kennedy, uh, SpaghettiOs, Oreos, Jackie-O, Jackie-O, Oreos, SpaghettiOs. This one. Oh, brother. Dang it. Next time, try this. Oreos were introduced in 1912, Jackie-O was born in 1929, and SpaghettiOs were invented in 1965. Dang it. I love Oreos and SpaghettiOs because I refuse to eat any food that resembles something you can find in nature. I was gonna go with that because I was pretty sure Oreos were the oldest. And then I saw that there were two Take SpaghettiO openers. Middle I decided that must be it. Top to bottom. You know how Peter Jackson stop listening to the should questions. tell his incredibly long <laughs> Lord of the Rings movies in New Zealand? Well, see if you can wrap your crossbow around this. Given how New Zealanders refer to Australia, which fantasy adaptation would be most logical for Peter Jackson to shoot there? Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Bridge to Terabithia, The Wizard of Oz, or The Wind uh, in the Willows? This one. My New Zealand friend tells me... G'day! Yeah, that's him right there. He tells me that down in New Zealand, they refer to Australia as Oz. Get it? Short for Australia. Ah. Makes sense to me. Just give Gimli some green stockings and voila! Munchkins! <laughs> Here's a good one. June Cleaver is living a lie. 
Suppose fictional housewives from literature started appearing in episodes of Bravo's Real Housewives series. Considering where they live, which pairing would make the most sense? Emma Bovary on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Anna Karenina on the Real Housewives uh. of Orange County, Connie Chatterley on the Real Housewives of New Jersey, or Daisy Buchanan? That's fine. <laughs> I don't know. Bovary. <laughs> oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Daisy Buchanan from The Great Gatsby lives in Long Island, New York. And mm. she's also plenty rich, so she'd fit in great with the Real Housewives there. And since The Great Gatsby takes place during the 1920s, by now Daisy would be nearly as old as the other housewives. Oh, I'm kidding. With all their plastic surgery, they all look like very youthful aliens. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know any of those. Unfortunately. So. Up next, all my exes seceded with Texas. Say Texas finally becomes its own independent country and constructs a fence around its entire border. Considering the states it's touching, what justification would you probably not hear? Okay. It'll keep out those dang Louisianans. It'll keep out those freeloading Oklahomans. There's no Kansas it's there. Louisiana, Oklahoma, and New Mexico all border Texas, but Kansas and its Kansans do not. Right. Texans have a rich history. I mean, remember the Alamo? Starring Dennis Quaid and Billy Bob Thornton? Now that was a movie. <laughs> Oklahoma blocks Kansas. Welcome to the attack. Circle takes the square. When you see two clues that match, press your A button. 2,000 if you're right. But if you're wrong, you lose 2,000. And don't forget... Remember the clue! It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Catching some Z's. Who's the sleepyhead? Good luck! In Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, Snow White's the one who sleeps. Doesn't she? I had I don't know. All right. In Garfield, Garfield is sleeping all the time. <laughs> the Care Bears. I don't imagine they have a narcoleptic bear, but I don't know who it would be. Ah, that sound. That sounded like a bed. Well, that sounded like a bear name. Alice in Wonderland, them in the poppy field, or the, the mouse. The mouse was sleepy. Not Snorlax. Or Dagger. The Dormouse, who was sleeping in the key. Pokemon. Snorlax. Block up the roads, from what I hear. The Smurfs. Not deadbeat. Uh, is there a lazy or a sleepy smart? I don't know. Lazy sounded like a good choice. In that one, who sleeps in that? Uh. Man, I don't remember. That sounded like a name from it, so I went with it. And I was right. Awesome. That's the game! Darn right it is. You know what, after all this, I'm actually pretty tired. I think I'm gonna go take a quick cat nap. Poopsie! Mayonnaise, get over here! I need to use you as pillows again! Stop fidgeting, Poopsie. You're only making this harder on yourself. You don't know Jack! That's gonna hurt. But next week's episode won't, probably. Thanks for watching.